bro. What Come on. I'm trying to get a bloody drink, man. Use my code CARMEN10 for 10% off. Crossover 11. She claiming that she love it, yeah Get the roses by the dozen, yeah Baby, take you out in public Mess around until the sun is I ain't playing, I ain't frontin' Didn't start this up for nothing, yeah I pulled up on you, baby, that was good I can take you on trip, show you the hood Ain't nobody gon' take you, I wish that they wouldn't I'm bad in the set, cause I'm a son of dude Yeah, yeah I need a fall Tell her, pour me some more Change you up for the door You ain't breaking this feeling, baby Fuck around and you will leave we're here at the Crossover 11. We're back. End of your showcase, Crossover Dance. This is our 11th annual showcase. Missed two years because of COVID, but coming back strong again. The theme here, 11 words. Every instructor has free reign to do whatever they want to do. All they have to do is explain their show. One main theme, 10 words underneath. So we hope you enjoy Crossover 11. Let's go. <laughs> it's not even <laughs> 11. So, question. Poor, a little bit of sexy. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Psycho and then groove. How many words is that? Six. Six. <laughs> I chose the two songs. These were the Japanese rap. Both two female rappers, really strong girls. A witch. She's a mom, but like still, you know, <laughs> surviving in a world. And then, so yes, yeah, so good badass. <laughs> so we need to be queen or I don't know, king, queen or something. So they had to have confidence. So have, having confidence. Passion, powerful, it's all my concept of dancing. So I put everything. Am I getting interviewed right now? Yeah. I'm oh. so vulnerable at the moment. So my 11 words are dive, fully immerse your some, is yourself in something without fear or regret. And then I think I was missing one word, so I added Lamau at the end. I wanted all my students to do a whole song without any kind of remixing to authentically feel what it's like to like immerse yourself in a song in like a house environment. I wanted them to feel very comfortable in the dance. I wanted them to learn like foundations, but more than that, get like a lot of repetition and learn to do it with like purpose and intent, which I think they do because I wasn't even with them in the tech run and it looked really good. So nice. Oh my God. I only remember the first is empowering, empowering choreography, girls power. <laughs> I'm sorry. The student who's drawing my student showcase, they're all girls. I want them really feel like they can make things happen. They are taking control of everything. So that's why I use a very, like kind of hip hop choreo, but with a lot of like remix sound effect, that kind of thing, to make it like more health fancy, but working on the body control and to um, making the choreo very like cool. Yeah. Hello, we are at Crossover XO11. We're here at Seymour Center today. This is Arissa's hip hop showcase. At the moment, they are currently blocking out their positions so no one collides into each other or falls off stage again. My 11 words. Yeah. You did a, you did a oh, oh, yeah, we did. Um, I think it was Video Music Awards, something something Kanye West, Taylor Swift, Britney and Madonna. Yeah, <laughs> is, that, is that 11 words? I don't know. Here we go. Oh, impactful start. The movement is as fluid and smooth like water. It's just the flow is immaculate and divine to watch, and the movement quality is insane. An insane showcase from what I can see right now, but to be fair, I'm being blocked by uh, Max's head. <laughs> Arisa. Arissa, hello, how was your showcase rehearsal? Oh, that's good. <laughs> what are your 11 words to describe your showcase? Uh, the <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I think it was the good old days and new era of female hip hoppers. Female hip hop, yeah! Good job, Arissa. Thank you. Hi, we are Fire! <laughs> oh, this is the mic. Yeah, yeah. No, do, do Owen's speech. Just do Owen's speech. <laughs> 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 Litto. Ah, what did I say? Litto. Seki kara tobi dashitaku naru yo no ongaku. 
that's the one. I made everyone give us a song and we all voted and then the top three songs were the ones that we ended up with. It was supposed to be a piece about just getting up out of your chair and vibing out and just going crazy. You know, music that makes you want to get up at your seat and dance. Uh, first word was party. Let's get ready with UTS to go out to... Mm. I don't know. Ready with UTS to go out to the club. How we organize the song is the first half, it's like we're like doing our pre's, like getting ready to make how long we just finish. And the second half is like we're in the club and now we're just like getting it down, having fun, killing, vibing. But yeah, for me, um, we have like the chorus it, when everyone just gets crazy, like I got friends, you got friends, or the second song. That, that, that goes hard. I think for I me, mean, I just like the beginning of the this, our second song. It's really powerful and um, really sets the tone for the rest of the, the piece. Um, <laughs> from the top of my head, essence, a vibe, and energy, and a good song, which is the songs I did. This, so, let's go back. <laughs> essence, an energy, essence, an energy, a vibe, and a good song. No? An energy, a vibe, and a... I think I wanted to celebrate, I guess, soft femininity, and I think Thames and that song is a good way to emulate it. And I like freestyling to a lot of soft music, so a lot of it came from that, and I think just like existing with being soft, a lot of people don't see it a lot, especially in choreography. To emulate that, I just like to love myself. <laughs> I wanted my students and like everyone who did my choreography to feel just as empowered or like just as soft or just as pretty and the word I gave them a lot like the whole time was goddess so I was like okay emulate that untouchable vibes but yeah every year there's new members coming in um no one's going out because once you're a part of the Carmen Tang cult you're always in the Carmen Tang cult <laughs> uh yes classic move Number one. We're gonna create a Carmen Tang move counter, like our trademark moves. That's move two, move two, move two. Ah yes, the rock water oh, special God. butterfly. Yep, number four, four, four. John Sally. I counted 14 classic Carmen moves in that. 14 of them she's done in battles already. Shout out to Rock Waters. Does the butterfly, that's her classic. She does one of these as well. She also does this. There's also when she's on the ground. I'm not gonna do it now because that would be uh, disrespecting the ground. <laughs> if you know Carmen's trademark moves, put it in the comments. What are Carmen Tang's other trademark moves? How is your showcase experience so far? Honestly, it's been really fun, kind of stressful, but we're getting there. Good. Is this your first showcase? So this is my second ever crossover showcase. The community is really nice. Everyone's like really friendly. It's just fun vibes here to support one another, and I'm loving it. Any words, Chrissy? Uh, I'd say like the whole showcase experience is awesome. We had a first test run and feel like I'm confident enough to say that we did pretty well. As a uni society, our main focus is always the students. How to make it as fun and accessible for like uni students to come through and just like have a space where they could just dance and have fun with their peers. Um, so that's always the main focus. And then I feel like why people keep on coming back is like it's mainly like a lot of friendships, even new people, like they just like want to try stuff out. So if people come and like join the first time because it is very welcoming or like they come back because like they just know everybody and like they just know it's very fun. I mean, for us anyway, we come back because a lot of us don't necessarily get to dance together all the time. Some of us don't even dance on a, on a weekly or regular basis. What in the my It ain't you guys. It's fun. I mean, half the crew is staff. We've been so involved in the community for so long and yeah, we just really like being around. Crossover and the people. I used to be very stressful. Every time I prepare for a showcase, I was like, oh, I have to take care of this, take care of that. But my students this year are very, very helpful. They uh, film and upload. Sometimes they do extra practices. When I teach, they just totally get what I'm saying. I just feel this year is very lovely for me. When I did the audition process, a lot of it was actually just like walking across the room or being able to look at themselves in the mirror and being like, okay, be comfortable with yourself because that's all you really have. Seeing all of it come to life, I think this is honestly the most like organic and natural way I've choreographed because it's like a song I like 
it's movement that I like and it's not just like boxed into anything. And the choreography feels right, like to the song. So that's what it is. And then also, so some of them from last uh, upstage, I think they're used to dance my choreo. So some of that people share the details to the beginners. We improve each other, like all together. They push them. Also, they put so much effort. I thought I shared a choreo, I made a choreo in the formation, but actually I did nothing, just that, you know, they improved themselves because of their effort. It's good. I, I'm really proud of them. I'm just hoping that I don't mess up because my students probably know it better than me at this point. They learned a lot. They dealt with me asking them for things constantly that are very unconventional in a house showcase. Um, so I appreciate you all for, for doing the things I asked for and everyone looks really good. I'd like to thank Crossover for providing the space and the, the time year after year to bring together like a huge community. So I'm really grateful for that and thank you to all of the students who come back. Thanks Crossover for hosting this like annual event. It's been, I feel like it's been life-changing almost with the students. Thank you for joining Tina and I's like vision. Thanks for putting in like all the hard work. Yeah, I'm very, very proud. Like it's like really, really good. Um, like, yeah, they've been, <laughs> they're all the, you can see them in the reflection. They've been the best to work with the last few weeks. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> just because I don't think I'm that intense as a teacher and I just like to make sure everyone's on the same page and I think I like to hold a safe space and I do my best to, but also like pushing them to do, even if it's not Cory, but if it's like embracing themselves or embracing how they move or embrace how they want to express. Being feminine, I think that's what, yeah, has been really nice the last few weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So shout out XO11, <laughs> thank you for coming to Showcase, we hope you enjoyed. Great job uh, Crossover Dance Studio for hosting the event, Max the Media behind the camera. Thank you to all the instructors for taking their time to dedicate an amazing Showcase and Peace and working with their students over the last couple of weeks. And thank you to the students themselves who worked super hard to deliver such an amazing Showcase experience for everyone to enjoy. And most importantly, thank you for coming to Crossover. 11 XO 11 see you at the next one bye Lift the fly so high i wonder why